Today, you will cook it out in a theme that is appropriate for Grill Masters. Because you two teams will lock horns in a battle that I call... Surf and Turf! Really iconic ingredients, shrimp, beef, all stuff we know very well. It just belongs on a grill. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. I couldn't be happier. I love what we've learned on our feet. We've got the meat man. I love cooking meat. Loads of seafood. You know, that's just exactly how I like to cook. Bring it on. Over on uh, the Australian side of the world, uh, we've got the toothfish that is in the hands of Chef Richardson. I'm making a grilled toothfish. I mean, toothfish is such a beautiful, gelatinous, soft fish. I thought by grilling it, you'd get some great flavors from it. Yeah. But to that, I wanted to add some chorizo sausage. Sausage always makes everything taste oh, good, yeah. doesn't it? And a lot of protein on the grill. Toothfish down on the grill, lobsters down on the grill, the porterhouse steaks. I wanted to make a classic surf and turf, but we're making a refined version of it. So, you know, you've got your big, beautiful steak and some lobster but i'm going to throw the classic sides that you would normally find in a steakhouse some spinach and some mushrooms with lots of herbs in them steakhouses in texas are going to rip that dish off and put it on the menu time 34 minutes and change is what he's doing all right over on the australian side the grilled toothfish uh, is now going down so uh they have two plates in process no no three three actually uh with the uh, cuttlefish being plated uh, as well so i think they're in good shape all right uh then the grilled toothfish and chorizo they do love their pork over on that side of the kitchen and then finally uh a more five four three three two one, one. put it down and walk away this international Surf and Turf Grilling Challenge is history here in Kitchen Stadium. And what a battle it's been. Congratulations. Good job, man. Congratulations. Was it fun? So the cooking is over, and that means, of course, that our judges uh, must dig into their delicious task. Team Australia. Please tell us what your approach was to today's Surf and Turf battle. We took a technique that started with the caveman and we wanted to put a modern twist on it. Chef. What we have here is Glacier 51, which is a sustainable fish that's caught, it's about a mile and a half down, so you have to hold your breath to go and get the stuff. And we've barbecued it on one side and we've just crisped up the skin and put it on top. There's also some chorizo sausage that's been barbecued as well to give it a bit of fat and flavor, I think. The fish is so superbly cooked. I mean, it's, it's melting in my mouth. You're missing bread so I can like sop up all of these delicious juices. Next time. If I was going to give you one criticism, I wish you had plated it with the grill marks up because when I turned my fish over, it's so beautiful and I love seeing those marks. But we're from down under, so everything is upside down. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's how Good we do point. it there. Good yeah. point. Good <laughs> point. Thank you, Chef. We gave it our best, but we're up against three iron chefs at the same time. These guys are used to the kitchen and they're iron chefs. But, you know, we're in with a chance. There's no doubt about it. Today, two teams of champions met in an international surf and turf battle here in Kitchen Stadium. Team USA. Team Australia. The judges have spoken, and by the slimmest of margins, the winning team is Team USA. I am Chef Flay. I am Chef Bonacelli. I am Chef Fuggio. Yeah, I'm a bit bummed we lost. We're probably the first team ever to come from Australia as a team, so there was intense pressure, but it's kind of comforting knowing that we didn't lose by much. But we're coming back. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah of course. Two great grilling powers clashed in the field of culinary combat today, and as the fragrance smoke of the battle clears, one country's flag is hoisted high, and the other, well, just not quite so much. But hey, there's always next year. I'm Alton Brown. On behalf of the chairman, Kevin Brosh, and everyone here in Kitchen Stadium, I bid you good eating.